Wow. What a fucking pay-per-view that was. Oh, fucking crazy. There was a lot of bad stuff, but holy fuck, it was good. Alright. Um, in the dark match, and thank God we did not see this, Santino defeated The Miz. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Santino, they showed this to us later on in the show. Santino beat The Miz in the fucking dark match. The Miz, a guy that won WrestleMania 27 main event, loses to Santino Marella. Okay. In the first match of the pay-per-view, Orton defeated Kane. Um, the, the ending was fucked up. It was an RKO on the chair. He landed his hand about this like, like this. Did it even go close to the fucking chair? You know, it was false count anywhere, so they were wasting a lot of time through the crowd. Uh, nothing major happened. A couple of stomach back shots there, uh, but... You know, not very extreme. I didn't really like the match. In the second match, Brodus Clay defeated, <laughs> defeated Dolph Ziggler. Brodus Clay on pay-per-view for what? For fuck's sake, what for? Huh? What for? And nobody was cheering for him. They were all fucking screaming for Ziggler to beat him. And sadly, he did not. Okay, it looked like Ziggler was going to beat him, but he didn't. It was exciting. It <laughs> brought us clay, but the match was exciting, all right? We wanted to see Ziggler win. Yeah, he's going to beat him, then fuck! It wasn't that sort of exciting. <laughs> Sorry. The third match... Cody Rhodes defeated the Big Show. Cody! Cody, baby! <laughs> Not much of an extreme match there. Big Show did fucking troll Cody like it seemed like 30 feet away there. Um, he went nuts after the match and slammed him through a bunch of tables. But to get the win, uh, Big Show accidentally stepped through a table <laughs> and his face was like <laughs> ding 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 Cody wins the belt so that was cool it wasn't a crazy exciting match but it was a pretty cool finish Sheamus defeated Daniel Bryan I hated that outcome Sheamus should not be champion. Daniel Bryan should have fucking won that belt. Actually, he's too good for that belt. Give him the fucking belt that CM Punk has. All right? Daniel Bryan put on the amazing match against Sheamus. Two out of three falls. It was super epic wrestling. Daniel Bryan showed off that he is the best wrestler in WWE, in that match, it cannot be denied. Epic wrestling skills. But sadly, fucking lost against Sheamus. Alright? The fifth match, Ryback on pay-per-view against two awful, dumb-looking jabronis. I don't even remember their name. They even cut a promo, these jabronis. Such... Fucking horrendous <laughs> promo skills. Right back comes out, beats the fucking shit out of him pretty badly. Um, during the match, the whole fucking crowd was screaming <laughs> Goldberg, <laughs> Goldberg for right back. They couldn't fucking edit that shit out, not live on pay per view. Okay. Jericho versus Punk. Punk won, obviously, but there was a couple of fuck-ups in this match. Punk did a botch off the ropes. He fell down from the ropes. He, um, he climbed the ropes, but he almost fell backwards another time. There was a couple of confusing-looking spots or whatever. 
But the match was okay, but the finish was horrible. A cheap fucking root in the corner there looking super phony with the go to sleep. It didn't look good. The ending was cheap, not their best match. As you can see, Punk is not the best. I don't know what was up with these guys dressed up in motherfucking Ravens shorts or something. They were both dressed in cut off jeans with kendo sticks. The whole crowd was screaming ECW, but it was an ECW. Just some wannabes or something, I don't know. Uh, you know, they were dressed up fucking weird. I don't know what the fuck was up with that there. Then, Layla appears out of nowhere. Do you guys even remember her? <laughs> Probably not. Layla, she was the partner of Michelle McCool. She came out and won the belt from Nikki Bella just like this. Layla, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It was okay, nothing against it or whatever, but... And then, the main event. What an incredible motherfucking match. A historic, crazy, insane motherfucking match. Alright? Brock Lesnar, right off the bat, puts Cena down. Gives him a couple of elbows. The third elbow almost ripped his fucking head off, his whole head. It was fucking shitting. The blood was fucking shitting out of his head. It was so fucking gross. And Brock, so motherfucking sick. He's full of Cena's blood. He's like licking his blood. Nowadays, you think of the shit, you're like, Ugh, you know. All the bad stuff that could happen, but Brock was out for motherfucking blood. It was crazy motherfucking intense. It was like a real fight. Alright, I've never screamed so much in my whole fucking life watching a match. Vicious fucking hardcore clothesline almost broke his body in half. Cena was fucking full of fucking blood, hardcore. Okay, but <laughs> like I predicted, didn't the wrestling Jesus tell you that he had a feeling? Huh? Usually I would have been enraged because John Cena won the fucking match! Holy fuck! Cena, a shot with the chain with a fucking man, the fucking steel steps. And he actually beat Lesnar. But fuck, man. I'd usually be more pissed off there, but since I, like, predicted it, I had a feeling, so I feel, I guess, happy with myself for predicting it. But, um, you know, usually I'd be pissed there, but fuck, the match was so goddamn amazing. John Cena fucking proved himself. I don't care. He proved himself. Bleeding like that. Taking ultra stiff fucking clotheslines. Shots. Big vicious knees. A fucking stiff looking arm bar. It looked like he was going to rip it right off like a fucking action figure. Okay? <laughs> it was like me beating up a Cena action figure, but it was real. See the fucking getting fucking destroyed. And somehow we fucking won, people! He managed to win somehow. Okay? Like I said, I'd be more pissed, but I'm like shocked. Plus, I had a feeling. I just had that feeling, and I knew that Cena was gonna win. But at the end, Cena could. Uh, he cut a good promo saying that he was going to take a little vacation or something like this, so he might take a break, but holy fuck, man. Okay, awesome match, crazy blood, Brock was bleeding too. When Cena hit him with the chain, Brock went down and <laughs> did the old blade job, but fucking Cena was bleeding for real, ain't no blades, he fucking ripped his head open. <laughs> 
fucking nuts, okay, straight up. I've never seen a more fucking bloody fucking shock in wrestling. That was out fucking rageous, all right. But Cena proved himself tonight, all right. I'm giving this pay-per-view a good fucking 8.75, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the last match is like 6.75. Plus the Daniel Bryan, lots of garbage on this show, but I think they did it like that. They give you some fluffy crap, then at the end it's crazy blood psycho demolition match or whatever. <laughs> fucking off the fucking wall. 8.75, amazing fucking show. Daniel Bryan, big props to him. Give him the belt, cause CM Punk didn't compare to Daniel Bryan wrestling wise and John Cena proved himself big time tonight alrighty great show until next time peace